हे गाइस हेलो एंड वेलकम टू जेन इनोवेशन एंड वी आर रनिंग एन इंटरेस्टिंग एक्सपेरिमेंट हियर टुडे एंड अ लॉट ऑफ सब्सक्राइबर्स ऑन माय चैनल आर इंटरेस्टेड इन सेटिंग अप अ डीसी सिस्टम एंड व्हाट इज अ डीसी सिस्टम इज दैट बेसिकली यू हैव योर सोलर पैनल्स देन यू हैव द चार्ज कंट्रोलर एंड देन यू हैव योर बैटरी बैंक एंड फ्रॉम द बैटरी बैंक द लोड विच इज यू नो इट कुड बी डीसी ट्वेल्व वोल्ट और इट कुड बी डीसी ट्वेंटी फोर वोल्ट फोर्टी एट वोल्ट डिपेंडिंग ऑन योर कन्फिग्रेशन एंड दैट रोन दैट लोड रन डायरेक्टली फ्रॉम दिस बैटरी बैंक so what we did here is that we completely skipped on the ac part and the best part about a dc systems is that the conversion loss which happens between dc to ac system is completely avoided and hence these uh, these systems the only dc system is uh, pretty efficient but today what i am going to do is we are going to check if this kind of integrated solar pcs can they act as a de dedicated charge controller i mean can they be used in only dc i mean the pure dc kind of system that we discussed before now what is this pcu let me explain it to you now pcu is a combination of solar charge controller along with the dsp i mean this kind of cpu processor which is you know behind this display that controls the integration of all of these features and it also has an inverter circuit which converts the dc energy into ac energy so what we are going to test it out today here is that if we don't use that circuit i mean if the system is in power off mode are these solar pcus completely fine to charge your battery bank so that for now you can use them in a dc system but in future yes if you want to upgrade and if you want to have some kind of occasional ac load then you can turn on your pcu and then you can run ac appliances with it now the benefits of this kind of system are many first is that you don't need to buy a dedicated a uh, solar charge controller you can buy this one thing and this is going to solve all of your problems i mean it it will be capable of running your dc as well as ac load when uh, when required so today what we are going to do is we are going to shut it down and in this power down mode uh, will it you know properly charge the battery bank i mean that are we able to use this as a dedicated charge controller and now you will ask that well if i have spent my money on a solar pcu why should i use it as a dedicated charge controller so the first scenario is the dc based system which we talked about before and if you have a dc system and if you want to run very occasionally some kind of ac load then this system could be ideal for you the second scenario here would be on a vacation so if you are going on a vacation what you do is you turn off your a uh, solar inverter or your pcu so that you don't have any kind of fire hazard uh, short circuit hazard or you know any appliances which are left running so we turn them off but what happens is that if you turn this thing off then it's very important that it provides some kind of charging to your battery bank because uh, in absence of any kind of float charging the batteries will get completely ruined due to sulfation in a matter of weeks so that is again what we are going to test in this video today and let me explain you the wiring which i have done here so this is the mains i mean the mains energy which comes inside this machine from this socket and the mains is completely powered off as you can see here so the current seen which is going on here is just between the battery bank and the solar energy and to test this scenario what i am going to do is i am going to turn off this system and before doing that let's see what kind of charging is being offered currently roughly 17 amperes you can see 17 to 18 amperes are being offered to the battery and this is how the solar pcu normally runs and let's begin the experiment by turning off this system so here goes the system so all kind of ac loads which were running through this system have been turned off and the best thing over here is that the charging amperes went up so as any kind of energy which was going towards running ac loads is now being fully diverted to this battery bank which means that the charging efficiency has increased and the charging amperes have gone up from around 17 18 to somewhere around 22 so yes here we can conclude that solar pcus can run as a dedicated charge controller and this would be a very wise investment because what i am seeing is that the price of a dedicated solar charge controller and the price of this solar pcu the difference is pretty small i mean 30 to 40% uh, of the price difference and what you get is the capability to run ac appliances as when needed so here i could suggest you that rather than buying a dedicated charge controller you should uh, directly go for this kind of solar pcu even if you want to run only dc appliances on it because you get a free inverter circuit with this in built and when you need to start up some like oh i need to start this ac appliance once in a while then that can be effortlessly done and for the rest of the time you can simply turn it off and have all kind of uh, solar energy provided to your batteries for running the dc load 
सो दैट इज इट फॉर दिस वीडियो गाइज इफ यू वॉन्ट टू बाय सोलर पीसीयूज the links will be waiting in the description for you and these kinds of exciting ex experiments can be found in my solar energy playlist so if you haven't checked out my solar energy playlist make sure to do it right away take care and have a nice day guys